Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today on this Sunday morning. Um, we are in another episode of Chasing Champs. I was all the way down to like 2,800, I think. Um, I kind of got, no, I didn't kind of, I really got annoyed with pushing, uh, getting 49%, losing and stuff like that. It happens to everybody. So I kind of dropped down. Sorry for the little postponing of the series and not uh, telling you guys, but we are back at it. We are at 30, 33. Uh, so I've got 170 trophies to go. I'm going to be very, very patient. I'm going to find bases that I know I can beat because that's where I've lost in the past. And that's a, that's a great tip for you guys as you try and push up the champs is be patient. You don't need to attack every base that you find. You don't need to attack every base that has good loot. I skip bases with a lot of loot all the time because I know that I can't beat them. So just make sure that you know what you can beat and look for that base, okay? So we're gonna go ahead. I'll show you uh, an attack that I just had this morning. 50% um, nine trophies, which is good. Uh, I find this base a lot. I've found this base so many times up here in uh, Masters, and now I just know how to beat it. So on the corner archers, you have to drop three uh, balloons because the Expos and the Inferno Towers are in range. A lot of people mess up and just drop two, so then you're going to end up having to drop uh, five because you have to drop three more to catch up. Um, and then I drop about nine or so up at the top to take out those archer towers, and then sometimes there are Teslas there, sometimes there aren't. If there aren't Teslas there, then they actually end up going for the air defense. In this case, they didn't, but that's okay. Um, we still got in there and got uh, an okay amount of percentage from the balloons and their splash damage. So uh, now we're just going to slowly drop off some minions all the way around the base, as many of you know how the balloonian strategy works. Uh, we're going to slowly do that. The air defense is still in range of some of them, uh, as is that archer queen. So we're just going to fast forward a little bit until we get down all the free buildings. And then you can see up in the top right um, that that air defense is taking out some of the minions. And on the left, again, it is a symmetrical base design. So we're at 42% right now. Um, we're just going to keep dropping off about groups of three or so to take out those gold mines. Uh, and now we're at 48%. So uh, there's a lot of elixir right there. So we're going to go ahead and just drop down a whole bunch of minions over there to try and take out some of that. And then over here on the right side right now, we're going to drop down the rest of our minions and... Our Archer Queen, we're going to instantly use her power so that we don't have to um, waste her or anything. So there we go, nine trophies for that easy base. Um, and we were able to save our Queen and a couple of spells. So let's go ahead and attack. And so that you guys don't have to wait for me uh, to search because searching up in uh, Masters takes a little bit longer. Uh, we'll go ahead and cut right here. And then I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds. Look at that Batman base. That's pretty cool. I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds. Hopefully we can find that same base uh, and I can just continue to wreck it. Um, this one doesn't look too bad actually um, because there are a lot of buildings on the outside, but I don't know if I want to mess with that expo in the bottom portion of it um, and in the sides. And it's only worth 24 trophies. Normally I only try to attack if it's worth 27 or higher. Uh, so that's nine trophies. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll be back with you guys in just a second. So hold on tight. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to try out this base. Uh, it is upgraded pretty well, but I do think we will be able to, uh, take it out fairly well. So we're just going to drop off. Uh, we got to drop off three balloons right there other because that wizard tower is going to cause damage and this other archer tower right here. Um, we are going to drop off. Let's just drop off a rage right here and drop off about eight or so. Um, and then we'll drop off three right here, three right here, um, and take out those archer towers. And then let's go down here. Great, he's got freaking clan castle troops. That's exactly what I want to happen, not. Hopefully some of them will take some damage from these. Yes, take damage from them. Nice, idiots. <laughs> so almost all of his Clan Castle Troops got taken out. Uh, he does have a whole bunch of minions that we're going to have to deal with, which is pretty annoying. Um, we're going to go ahead and use our Clan Castle right over here. See if we can drop off some minions to help out uh, with the with the Clan Castle Troops, but it doesn't look like they are. 
So we're gonna just continue deploying our troops all the way around. Um, again, clan council troops are the worst when it comes to raiding like this, obviously. It's pretty miserable whenever they uh, get out and find you. Um, and I don't wanna use my lightning spell on them. So we're gonna save that and see what we can do. Is that really in the in range of that air defense? No, okay, it wasn't. So we're at 34% right now, 38. Uh, we're going to drop our king off right up here and let him get to work up here. We're going to go ahead and use his ability, otherwise he's going to get distracted by those clan castle troops, and that is not what I want to happen at all. Um, and then we're going to drop a rage down, and let's drop our... We can go ahead and take out this army camp right here. And let's drop off our... Uh, we're going to drop off a rage right here and drop off our queen. And we're going to watch her health very, very closely. And then we are going to use her ability right about now. Come on, queen. Do work for us. Do work for us, queen. Take out that gold storage. All right, so 49%, perfect. And then we're just gonna lightning spell right here and get that 50%. And then we're just gonna use the rest of our, uh, the rest of our minions so that we don't have to mess up our training whenever we get back. Uh, I could have just done that instead of using that lightning spell, but um, it's fine either way. So we're gonna go ahead and um, head back now. So we're gonna end the battle. We got nine trophies again. Uh, that was a base that I'm not used to attacking, so I'm happy that that went well. Um, let's go ahead and one, two, three, four. We'll finish that up, and then just so that we can get another raid in for you guys, I'll go ahead and gym up these troops, and we'll get another raid in this video for y'all. <laughs> and hopefully, we can get another W or win out of this. Um, finish these guys up. <clears throat> there we go. And so we're at 3042 right now. I'm not sure where we were in our last video, but I was all the way up to like 3100 from streaming. Um, <clears throat> but obviously I'm not there right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I always train up seven balloons and then 50, uh, 50 minions. It seems to work pretty well for me. So that's why I do that. For a while I was doing 60 minions, but uh, I stopped doing that. So we look good. Our spells are done. Everything's done, done. Yep, yep, yep find a match uh hopefully we can also find some town hall snipes just a little free thing that comes along the other day i was raiding and uh out of three bases that i searched for two of them were town hall snipes and then probably for the next two hours of raiding i didn't find a single one i feel like that's kind of how it goes um but whatever <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys again and i'm not leaving for that long so i'm gonna go ahead and leave until we find another base that we can attack um, and we can slowly continue working our way up to champs. Again, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to rush, and we're going to make it, all right? So I'll see you guys in just a couple seconds. All right, guys, so we're going to attack this base. It has a good amount of elixir, which I definitely want to be able to get, um, and the majority, his expos up at the top are pointing down, which helps out a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we are just going to drop a rage spell right here and take out those uh, defenses and then let's drop off a whole bunch of balloons up here as well. No, go for the, no, go for the archer tower. <laughs> so we're just going to work our way around with all these balloons, um, taking them out. And as you can see, this guy has a whole bunch of buildings that are not close to the edge at all. Uh, or that are, what the, come on balloons. Take it out. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and we're definitely going to be able to two-star this one. Um, just because all these buildings are so far away from the edge. Like, he, if he moved that closer, this one's, nope, that one's not even in range of that wizard. So that's hilarious. So we're just going to let these guys do their work. Uh, and the queen is still out of range. We're probably not even going to have to use the rest of our balloons, but I'm going to anyways just so that we don't um, <clears throat> end up having uh, too many extra troops. So we're going to drop off some of these guys. We're going to drop off those two balloons right there. 
And uh, let's take out this. I really want to get all of, we're going to drop our queen off. We're going to use her ability and drop off our minions. And I want to get as much of this elixir as I can so that it can help us push. Um, so we'll take out those two. Come on, take them out, take them out, take them out. And in the battle right there. There we go, 257,000 elixir. That is what I'm talking about. I need as much elixir as elixir as possible while I'm pushing. So we're up over a million now. Uh, we're at 3050. I'm about to head to church, and then we're going to probably lose a defense, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade a wall because we've got extra gold. Uh, where should we upgrade at? Let's upgrade this one right here in this corner. Uh, we're doing pretty good with our walls now. Uh, you can see that we have 118 of them done, so that's awesome. <laughs> All from the gold and whatnot. I don't think I've ever, uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm stoked about, I'm stoked about this. We're gonna take our time, guys. We're gonna work our way up and see what happens. I'm gonna be patient. Like I said, if you guys are trying to push, it's harder than you think. A lot of people in the comments are always like, it's super easy. No, you know that it's hard, and sometimes it takes time and it's frustrating. Um, so. That's just me. Honestly, I can't wait till this is over and I can just farm again, especially with the new update coming out with Elixir and whatnot, being able to upgrade walls. We'll probably start a farming wall series or something like that. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys rock. And as always, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.